challenges are here and they're pretty fun. Um, we're on page four to four. So the first one, you only have to do 10 party challenges, which isn't so hard. Um, so to get into the party, you go here. Obviously we're at party. You do join a party. And you can scan a QR code. That's a cute little kitty. But I find that doesn't work too well. So I go into here and I type in the code directly that the host gets. And then that's how I joined the party. Now for the first page, you only have to do 10 party challenges. Um, and you have to catch um, 10 normal type Pokemon. So you'll get a Chansey encounter for that and a regular Eevee encounter. For the second page, you start. You have to start doing 30 party challenges, which can be quite challenging. Um, if you don't like the challenges you get, stop the party and start over and you'll get new options. And then you have to catch 50 water type Pokemon and you will get a Lapras encounter and a Vaporeon encounter. For the third one, you also have to do 30 party challenges and you have to catch 15 electric Pokemon. Um, for this one, you get the Alolan Raichu and you also get Jolteon. Now for the fourth one, we obviously had to do our 30 party challenges again, and then we had to catch 15 fire Pokemon. For the encounter for this one, you get a Loan Murak. I can't even pronounce his name. He's right cute. He comes from Cubone and he has the green coloring on him. And then you also get a Flareon uh, encounter at the end, and you also get all these shirts with um, the Eevee shirt, the Vaporeon, the Jolteon, and the Flareon. So that's pretty cool. The three main main EVs. Um, the only thing I find with this is it can be a little challenging to complete some of the missions and I find when you complete the missions um, the rewards for completing the missions are kind of lame especially when it's like complete like a, quite a few raids or 30 excellent throws because that can be quite overwhelming <laughs> but if you just keep going you can get um, Pokestop ones or catch 20 Pokemon or catch 14 weather boosted etc so there's easier ways to do it and it's a lot of fun getting to play with your partner or your friends on the exact same screen I think it's really cool and a very interactive way to do it the only thing is is you can't follow routes while you're in this and um, if you use like a, a Pokemon Go watcher or an automatic catcher when you first turn this on it will turn off all the settings for catching so you have to go and manually turn those back on so that you can use your watches or automatic catchers during the party mode. I hope you find this helpful and thank you so much for watching.